Welcome to the Mystic Media Channel. I am your host, Ravina Rastavan, AKA The Realist Astrologer. And because it's Whitney Houston's birthday, I decided to do a video reading on her life as well as her death. But before I get into that, I just wanted to make an announcement regarding my upcoming workshop on numerology. So let me just share my screen and talk about this real quick. So my second workshop in my Real Talk Astrology workshop series will be held on August 24th. So that is a Friday and it will take place at 8 p.m. on um, 8 p.m. Eastern time. So it's going to run into um, 1 a.m. if people are going to, you know, stay on that long. So Basically, uh, Practical Numerology for Self-Improvement and Empowerment is the second workshop of my Real Talk Astrology webinar series. Upon completion of this four-hour workshop, you will have the ability to make better sense of your place in the world, as well as your destiny through the use of my numerological interpretation methods. Once you gain understanding of the energy that is inherent in each number, you will become more empowered when it comes to scheduling important dates, looking for potential mates, as well as making other important decisions that impact your life. So I will leave a link to this Eventbrite site in the description section so that you could purchase a ticket. So there's still plenty of time left to purchase a ticket. And it's on a first come, first serve basis. There's only 15 slots available in terms of the uh, readings that I will provide during the workshop, but there's 20 virtual seats available so the last five participants, if there'll be 20, uh, will receive their numerology reading via email. So it, like I said, it's first come, first serve basis. So you want to get your ticket as soon as possible. So now on to Whitney Houston. So here is Whitney Houston's natal chart. As I said, this is her birthday today. She was born August 9th, 1963. That makes her a Leo. So she has her son and Venus in Leo. That basically makes her very much about being an entertainer. She was one of the greatest entertainers. Um, basically, uh, that makes her very much about being a boss, being a leader. Also, with that son conjoined to Venus, that makes her very relationship-oriented makes her very um, romantic even. So that explains how she would always fawn over Bobby Brown and how she would just, you know, sing his praises and all that stuff. She would call him the king of R&B and all that, which I didn't think he was deserving of that. Anyway, she would either call him the king of hip hop or the king of R&B, one of those. But anyway, this points to her diva status. And then her sun and Venus are in trine to her moon and Jupiter. This points to her big voice and her large vocal range because Jupiter enlarges things, it expands things. So that points to that. It also points to her life of opulence and wealth. Uh, a moon could join to Jupiter, can deal with um, having a mansion, owning a mansion. It also means that she basically did a lot for her family as well. And she did hire her brother and I think other members of her family, like they were all surrounded. Um, they all surrounded her and they did, you know, a lot of work for her um, throughout her career. So that points to that, especially with her son and Venus being in the sixth house and trying to the moon and Jupiter, that points to her basically employing some of her family members and enriching their lives as well. So Leo is a very generous sign. So when we're talking about a trying to Jupiter, that is basically someone that is very generous. That's always going to take care of their, their own. Let me see what else she has. She had Mars and Libra that points to the tumultuous relationship, tumultuous marriage that she had with Bobby Brown. That points to her wanting to be in a relationship, but at the same time, she is too aggressive. She's too conflict-oriented to maintain peace and harmony in a relationship. Her Mars is in quincunx to her ascendant, and her birth time has been verified. So she has a Pisces ascendant, which points to her singing career. And also her living that life of where she was like this diva, glamorous life, all that stuff. Her image basically um, pointing to that, her persona basically. Um, but 
that also points to her battle with drug abuse, her battle with drug addiction. So with her Mars being in quincunx to her Pisces ascendant, that points to basically her and Bobby Brown being that drug couple and how it was even publicized time and time again. Mars and Libra also points to her going to the court. You know, there's been video of her waiting for him to um, get out of prison even. And, you know, where she's running up to him, jumping in his arms. So legal battles involving Bobby Brown, that points to that. Now, she has Virgo on her seventh house cusp. This basically points to her and Bobby Brown not just being married, marriage partners, but also being helpmates to one another. So she really helped to enhance his career. He really didn't do so much uh, for her in that respect. He get, he basically kind of um, contributed to her downfall. I shouldn't say kind of, he did in a major way. And that points to Pluto being in her seventh house, being under the negative influences of a spouse or any type of partner that she gets with. So Mercury and Pluto are opposing Chiron and Pisces. And again, that reinforces the theme of them being that drug couple. Uh, that Virgo energy points to the health problems that ensued as a result. Also, where their life was like really messy, literally, because um, there was a picture of Whitney Houston's bathroom that um, a rapper actually used and he caught a lot of flack for. I forgot what, um, the, what rapper it was. But he basically um, used an image. Let me um, look look that up and try to see who that was. He basically used an image of Whitney Houston's bathroom and it was all messy and trashy as a, a album cover. So let me just look this up real quick. Bear with me. I just put in rapper use Whitney Houston's bathroom. Maybe I should have said it like that. I should have said photo. Pusha T. Okay, that was close enough. So Pusha T had a photo of Whitney Houston's bathroom and he used it for his album cover, Daytona. Now this goes back to Kanye West because Kanye West was the one who paid for that bathroom photo, he paid $85,000 to use that bathroom photo. So with Mercury conjoined to Pluto in her seventh house, that could deal with basically her being exploited in that way, even beyond her death, because Pluto deals with death as well. So that's just interesting. So again, Pluto conjoined to Mercury Opposing Chiron and Pisces, that po points to that photo of her bathroom being used for Pusha T's album cover, which I just thought was interesting. Uh, let's see. Now, I'm reading her chart in real time. I didn't um, write any notes and stuff. So if I'm like um, basically being like, uh, what you call it, being kind of slow with what I'm talking about, or not slow, uh, what's the word, unorganized or a little. Uh, erratic with what I'm talking about. I'm just looking at things that are just point that are just jumping out at me. So this is really telling. Whitney Houston's sun and Venus are opposed to Saturn. That right there could point to death at the hands of someone else because her Saturn's in the 12th house. This could point to death at the hands of a secret enemy. But it can also point to a drug overdose because we're talking about the 12th house. So it could play out in either way. Now that Aquarius energy, which is interesting about that, you know Aquarius is the sign of the water bearer. So that could deal with her being found in the bathtub and basically uh, it being reported that it was a drug overdose. But like I said, the Saturn in the 12th house could point to a secret enemy that is the cause of her death and saturn's retrograde which can point to a hidden agenda saturn can represent someone who is in a position of authority over her someone who is in a management position 
I'm not going to name any names. Actually, I will, because Clive Davis was holding a party that night in the same hotel that she died in. And when he caught news of her death, he didn't even cancel the party. Now, Saturn is ruling her 11th house, so that can point to associations, groups. So Saturn being in Aquarius reinforces the theme of associations and groups. So this could point to there was some group of people that basically uh, conspired to uh, kill her. Because I'm not believing the official uh, overdose that she basically died of a drug overdose of her own making. And this aspect right here, this opposition, points to that. Especially the fact that her son and Venus are in the sixth house, which can point to her being in a position of submission. So even though she's a Leo, she was always in a position of submission with respect to this opposition, especially but even with sun conjoined to Venus alone in the sixth house. So this means that she didn't have that much free will because of this opposition with Saturn and also this conjunction being in her sixth house. So she was always subject to someone else's authority. And it makes a lot of sense because she was in the music industry. Also, this can point to her being uh, involved in scandals because the 12th house can deal with scandals. What's her Neptune doing? She has Sun square Neptune, Venus square Neptune, that can deal with the drug addiction right there, impacting her ability to function, impacting her professional life, tarnishing her image, especially because Neptune is in the eighth house and it's in Scorpio. So she had it bad with the addiction. And Venus square Neptune can deal with a lot of money being wasted on drugs. Also, this can deal with foul play as well, because remember, Neptune is like the 12th house. So the theme of secret enemies is coming into play again. So with the 8th house, Neptune and Scorpio, at the 12th degree, that 12th degree is sacrifice victimization being squared to the sun and Venus. That is showing that there's a good chance that she was murdered, not where she overdosed. Now, this could deal with an overdose, too. This is why astrology can be real tricky, because this can deal with an overdose, too, death via an overdose, which she was. She was basically died because of an overdose. But what I'm saying is it doesn't look like she was the cause of her own overdose. Same with John Belushi. John Belushi died in a similar way where he died via overdose, but then it was found out that it was a woman who gave him the lethal dose. And that's evident in his chart. So again, it's important to look at the rulers of these houses so you can determine whether it was her that did it or whether it was someone who created this death and made it look like she basically overdosed. Now her son is conjoined to Venus, which is very telling because Venus always deals with other people. So this can deal with some other person being involved in her drug overdose. So that's what I'm saying. I don't see it. I don't see indications of her basically inflicting this upon herself. Now Neptune rules her ascendant, which reinforces the drug overdose. It reinforces the issues with addiction. It also reinforces her being involved in a bunch of uh, scandals in the media, namely uh, with Bobby Brown being locked up several times. The Sun Square Neptune can produce a husband that gets locked up, can also produce a husband that is like a, a, a leech or even a moocher, where he basically is feeding off of her fame and her stardom. Now, I'm going to stop right here, and I'm going to pick this back up with a part two because I have a feeling this video is going to be kind of extensive. But just off of what I'm saying alone, hopefully you'll get the idea of what I'm talking about. Now, before I close this part out, uh, I'm just going to talk about her nodes real quick. So her south node is at the 18th degree of Capricorn. It's in her 11th house. 
Her north node is at the 18th degree of Cancer. It's in her fifth house. That fifth house north node points to, in this lifetime, she was supposed to be a mother. So that's why she was so close to Bobby Christina. And Bobby Christina was like her whole world, aside from her having to be a performer and all that stuff. But the North Node's at the 18th degree, which can point to serious conflict involving her child, um, material, spiritual conflict even. And, um, you know, there was some issues involving Bobby Christina, and Bobby Christina ended up dying as well. Her North Node is in Quincunx to Saturn in Aquarius, which can point to the death of a child. But as we know, Bobby Christina died after Whitney Houston, but still is still showing in the chart the possible death of a child due to this aspect. Also, she had her North Node in square to Jupiter and the moon, and this can deal with basically her being in, uh, her being a public figure, her being on the road, and a lot of times her taking Bobby Christina with her and that impacting Bobby Christina's life. Basically, she didn't have a regular home life with, uh, as evidenced by this aspect. Now, with Whitney Houston South Snow being at the 18th degree of Capricorn, she just had uh, heavy karma with respect to business, with respect to companies, organizations, with respect to her career even. So being too career-oriented in this lifetime cost her a lot, cost her a lot in terms of her personal life. So her personal life was always under great scrutiny because she was this mega professional uh, person. I mean, she was this mega star. So that South Node in Capricorn points to her being a public figure, being out in the world, but that being to her detriment. So the South Node being in the uh, 11th house means that she needed to always be very careful about her associations, even some, some of the friendships she had. And that brings to mind Brandy. Remember when Whitney Houston passed that note to Brandy? Brandy's kind of suspect in a lot of this uh, story with Whitney Houston. So I might be doing a synastry with uh, Brandy and Whitney Houston in one of these parts. But this is just part one of my video reading series on Whitney Houston. Stay tuned for the following parts. Now, if you would like a reading, you could go to my website at rabina.com. Peace and many blessings, and I'll be back soon.